Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefano Bernardini and today I show you the brand new Salesforce PubSub connector. Let's go. Okay. Uh, about the roadmap, uh, in the fall 2021, um, uh, Salesforce launched a customer pilot. Then uh, two weeks ago, uh, we have the announcement of Salesforce PubSub API. And two weeks ago, we have both uh, the Salesforce PubSub API connector for Mule 4 and the general availability of uh, uh, PubSub API Salesforce. From an architectural point of view, uh, the PubSub API is inside the new Salesforce event bus stack. Uh, so we have uh, a dedicated infrastructure and uh, we reach uh, better scalability. Uh, for Salesforce, uh, the PubSub API is a, a new better way to work with the event and take advantage of the new Salesforce event bus. With the new PubSub API, all the functionality is consolidated into one comprehensive API. So uh, the platform, e we can use a platform event, we can use change data capture, we can subscribe to event monitoring, all in a single place. And we don't need the comment the client no more. The new PubSub API is based on the gRPC. Uh, gRPC is a new industry standard enterprise API protocol uh, that is an, an improvement of REST and SOAP. Um, this uh, improvement include uh, uh, better performance uh, because the gRPC is about uh, uh, 7 to 10 uh, times faster than REST uh, due to the fact uh, that it, its payload is compressed uh, in lightweight uh, byte instead of JSON. Uh, we have uh, uh, bidirectional streaming, uh, un unlike uh, REST and SOAP that uh, where there is a client and a server, in the um, gRPC we have uh, bidirectional. Uh, and uh, it's built uh, on HTTP2, uh, that is a new standard uh, that guarantees better performance uh, and increased security. Okay, let's see a little demo on uh, this uh, brand new MuleSoft connector. Uh, first, uh, we move on Salesforce uh, and we create a new platform event. Uh, we, we can, uh, for this purpose, we can use also a chain data capture event. There will be no difference. Um, then uh, we we move on uh, flow creation uh, on Salesforce uh, and uh, we create a, a flow that send a, plat a platform event uh, every time uh, a new Spanish contact uh, is created. Then uh, we will move on uh, MuleSoft. We set up the Salesforce PubSub connector and uh, we receive uh, the, the event. Let's go. Okay, uh, we are on Salesforce. Uh, I search uh, for uh, uh, setup. I go to setup and I have to create uh, a new platform event. Okay, uh, in integration, there is uh, uh, platform events. I create uh, a new platform event. Uh, I call it PA uh, gRPC1. Okay. Uh, I click on save. You must enter a value, a value, okay. I click on save. Okay, let's uh, uh, create some custom field, uh, for example, uh, name, uh, first name, uh another couple of fields uh, like uh, last name okay and uh, and language okay oh, okay perfect now i move on uh on the flow creation and the process automation there is flow okay I can create a new flow uh, I can uh, select uh, a record triggered flow so I launches uh, launches when a new record is created or updated or deleted uh, for the moment uh, this is uh, what I want okay I uh, want to manage the uh, contact object, okay? 
I want uh, uh, all uh, the record uh, be triggered every time a record is created or updated. Okay. My requirement condition, uh, as I said before, is uh, um, when uh, a contact is Spanish, is from Spanish, uh, when the, the language is Spanish. Okay. Uh, all conditions are uh, okay. So I select uh, languages uh, equal uh, Spanish. Okay. Every time I record the uh, perfect. Okay. Done. Okay. Let's add the, the triggering. So let's create uh, uh, records. Uh, create creation. Okay. Uh, we uh, we have to check uh, user separated resource and literal values. Okay, we have to select uh, the uh, previous created uh, uh, platform event. Okay, that is gRPC one. Okay, now we have to map uh, our fields uh, to the fields uh, on the um, on the platform event. Okay, uh, so uh, language is record dot language. Okay, first name is records from the contact record dot first name. Okay, and last name is record from the contact last name. Okay, uh, done. Okay, so let's review the, the flow. Uh, every time a new record, a new contact rater is created or updated, or updated. Uh, every time the language is, is Spanish, we publish a, a platform event. We publish this platform event. Okay, let's uh, save. Triggering flow one, perfect. And then we activate it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I already created uh, my MuleSoft uh, PubSub project. Uh, I already created uh, the configuration properties uh, that uh, point to the, the DevYAML where I have the Salesforce uh, um, credential. Okay, so now I have to uh, create uh, this uh, Salesforce PubSub uh, connector configuration. Uh, but first, uh, I have to uh, import uh, the, the library. So let's search for uh, PubSub. Okay. Okay, let's add the li PubSub library. Okay, now I can create uh, the connector. Okay, we can use uh, the basic uh, uh, authentication. So uh, I can use uh, the basic cre the, um, the credential uh, that I have in my dev YAML file. So uh, sfdc uh, dot user. Okay. Uh, dot pass and dot token. Okay. Uh, for the moment, uh, uh, it's okay. Okay, let's create uh, a subscriber channel listener. Okay, let's select uh, our previously created uh, um, platform event. Okay, let's put uh, uh, a log. Okay, message, let's log output application, JSON, uh, I don't know, uh, body, payload, okay, uh, there is uh, an error here, but it's not a really a real error, okay. Maybe we can just uh, uh, modify this uh, to latest. Okay. Let's rerun. 
Okay. Let's see if everything uh, is uh, okay. Yeah, here we are. Uh, we select uh, a platform event, but we can also select uh, a change data capture event because with the PubSub API, we can use uh, uh, change data capture events or platform event or uh, even a monitoring event. Okay, let's see if we are ready. In the meanwhile, uh, we can uh, create a, a contact. Okay, let's select uh, contacts. Okay, let's see if we are ready. Okay, we are ready. Let's select, uh, uh, let's create a, a new contact, a new Spanish contact. Hola, mister. Hola, señor. Okay. Uh, languages, Spanish. Okay. Let's see. Okay, as you can see, we created uh, a new uh, a new contact. Uh, and uh, the platform event uh, uh, receive the field from the contact. So um, we have a map, a name, name, last name, last name, language, language. So we receive uh, the, this uh, platform event. Uh, maybe th there is uh, some, uh, some issue with the, with the date. We can just uh, uh, convert the date. Uh, we can, uh, for example, convert the date. Uh, converted date, for example, uh, we have to convert so payload event. Uh, um, let me pick this date and convert in dvlang. Okay, dvlang. Okay, uh, date uh, just uh, as date time. Okay, uh, okay, maybe there is a, a time zone is issue. Uh, Let's select uh, time zone news of Rome. Rome, Europe, Rome. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. So we can uh, convert in this way. Uh, convert date, create a date. Okay, I think it's okay. Okay, let's rerun. In the meanwhile, let's create. Uh, okay, let's create uh, a new new contact. Okay. 
Okay, new. Uh, Pedro Gonzalez, Spanish. Let's see if we are ready. We are ready. Okay. Okay. Perfect. We also converted the, the data. Perfect. Thank you. That's all for now. If you like my video, please smash that subscribe button. See you in the next video.